All right, it's raining. I want to talk about camping in the rain. Some experiences are better than others. Uh, go through a couple of little tips and tricks that I've developed over the years and give you a look at the Hellsport Lofoten Superlight tents, which I think are really good setup, um, nice and easy. And in days like this or a little bit of drizzle, they're actually perfect to set up. One of the key things that I've learned over the years with having a setup that's good in the rain is actually having everything packed in dry bags. So it does mean that you can pull anything out at any point in time. You can throw it on the ground and you don't have to really worry about if it's going to get any wetter. I've got my tent here. Now this is actually a, a three man with an extended vestibule. So it's, it's nice and light. It's only about two and a bit kilos and yet it's got a huge amount of space. make sure you get a couple of pegs in nice and early. One of the reasons I really like these tents is what we call an integral pitch. So the fly and inner both go up at the same time so when you're in the rain it's nice and easy and quick to set up. You can see my flies on the outside so my inner actually isn't getting wet. It's not raining really hard but this light drizzle is enough to be really annoying. So with a tunnel tent, one of the easiest ways to set it up is put all the poles in down low and then peg it one end and then pull it out and get it all to come up. So this is one of the reasons I really like these as a wet weather tent. Because what we've got now, after a few minutes in the rain, I've actually got a dry area. I can then go around and fine tune it, tension up my poles and turn this into a nice good looking tent. Now I've got my shelter set up, I really don't want to spend much more time out here in the rain. I've managed to get all my gear inside now, it's out of the weather. This new system for retaining the guy lines, uh, they, on the previous version they had little elastics and the elastics were great but over time they get a bit loose what they've got now so after you've rolled up your guys and you've made them all nice and tidy you got this little cord here that you can then cinch down on it it's a great system really really cool um, but one of the things we can do with this is if it's a day like today where it's not particularly windy but it is drizzling with rain and you don't want the rain to be inside your tent you can set up the front loosen these off now, this is one of the reasons that I really like this tent is the ability to roll back this front area. You've got a really nice out of the weather vestibule area that's really quite practical. So it does enable you to get some gear back here and into the tent. All my dry bags, I've got my sleeping bag and my sleep system all in here. Sit this over to the side, I'm still able to leave it out of the weather. There's space for me to take my shoes off, get my sleeping bag out, get it starting to loft, get your waterproofs off. And for me, I'm still looking out at the view. So, you know, part of the reason that I come camping is to go places and have experiences. And when it's a bit wet, to be tied up in that little bubble can sometimes be a bit hard. Boil some water in one of my favorite stoves. Um, it's this little MSR wind burner. I really like the reactor as well. They're both rippers of a stove. The only downside is they don't have a piezo because of the way the design is. So you have to use a match. Integrated pitch, you may notice as I was setting this up is that I didn't have to do anything once I had the outside set up. So pretty much as soon as I had the outside up, I've got this nice dry area inside. The inner on this tent is actually hangs from the outer, so hence the reason it's an integral pitch. And it's just got these little clips up the top. It sets up nice and fast. You can actually take it down. So if it's really, really wet and you want to try and keep your inner nice and dry, what you can do is you can take it down separately. So you can leave the outer up, you can bag the outer separately, take the inner down first, put it in a nice dry bag that's going to keep it nice and dry, 
bag the outer and then um, and then pack up. Now this tent that I'm in is actually the three man. This is the one that I would recommend for people that are definitely going to be camping with two people on a regular basis. You've got this nice large vestibule area and you've also got more than enough space for two square mats. So the two man version of this tent is also really good. Um, it's a little bit narrower but realistically you want to use two tapered mats instead of two full square mats. There's not a lot of weight difference. It's something that a tunnel tent gives you is a lot of livable space and usable space and that's what we have here in this tent. Ventilation's really good so you've got this hatch down the back here which then goes through to another uh, so you can open and close this really well. It's got bug mesh on it so you're not going to have too much trouble with uh, the nasties. Same deal goes with the front door. Nice and easy, you've got a big bug mesh, it's all made out of, it's super light. Um, you know, nice bit of ventilation. So once you're in, in here, it's, it's really quite cosy. And this is the massive vestibule area. So, love this thing. So I'm just going to put this back while trying to stay out of the rain as much as I can. Should be able to loop them over, tighten that up. But this is our second entrance around here, so it gives you the option of being able to get in and out of the tent, and it's vital to enable you to be able to roll the front back. Gives you an idea of how much space we've got once you've pegged that front area back out. So internally, huge amount of space. Uh, got another vent up over here. Enables cross ventilation between this point here and the one at the back. And this vent here as well. We're able to open the door back up. Another little hot tip for um, in the rain, little microfiber towel, just to be able to mop up any little bits of water and any bits of condensation. Helps you keep this area nice and dry because that's really important, is to be able to keep your main sleeping, living area as dry as you can. You can get a footprint for these tents. It does cover both that underneath the inner of the tent and also extends all the way out to cover the full vestibule area. It really helps to minimize condensation. Right, now, you deal with a wet tent. Um, I'm really liking these mystery ranch packs because one of the really nice things is, is they've got this overload feature. And today, I'm just gonna throw my wet tent down the back, strap the bag together, and I um, don't have to deal with it now and um, ready for that walk back out. My hot tip for camping in the rain, keep everything in dry bags. Be really disciplined about setting up your tent, getting out of the rain as quick as you can. Um, look at tunnel tents as an option, particularly the ones that are integrated pitch. The ability to have a large vegetable area um, that's out of the rain is just, it's gold. It really is. It's a game changer for camping in wet and cold environments.